welcome if you're not welcome back and happy 2020 um this video is about like i went back and forth with myself on this video and what i'm talking about is how to go natural but the reason i didn't make um make one of these before showing all is because i could not um I didn't know how to handle my hair and then suddenly I find a lot of these things that actually help my hair and help my hair be a healthy natural. A lot of people say natural journey but to waist length or those kind of lengths but you can't reach to that point if you don't have healthy hair. So ever since I cut my hair last which was a lot of times you know. If you've been a subscriber for a while, you know I'd be uploading and deleting <laughs> videos of me saying I'm happy with short hair. But I'm actually wanting to grow it out. And it's been good. So, before I get into it, I just want to kind of tell you what I use. Then talk about natural hair journey. So, and why they put labels on stuff to make it seem like, you know. But, um, the most important thing is your shampoo and conditioner. And by the way... I've been trying to look for dandruff shampoos. Like, I used Pert before, but it's, like, not good. So, everyone knows head and shoulders. For real, head and shoulders. This is what works. And I'll get into it saying that um, you don't have to worry if it says natural hair, naturals on it. Because that's just to get you to buy it. The more people that have natural hair just say, oh, it has this and this and that. Oh, co-wash and... It's natural hair with all argan oil. Look, yeah, you don't need all that. <laughs> I'm trying to look for the ingredients. And I would like to point out there that sulfate shampoos, it's not really those that really do something to your hair like that. This is a shampoo and conditioner. And when you pump it out, it has a complete consistency of conditioner. But what I do is, like, while I'm showering, this is on my thing. This is a shampoo brush. Got it from Amazon Prime. But there are different kind of shampoo brushes that look like this and other ones. So if you want to see, like I have like shampoo brush video, I believe. And this helps. Like for this, um, um, this, head and shoulders, this is a smooth and silky two-in-one. And it does 24-hour frizz control from root to tip. I have very short hair. A TWA and it's grown so much and I washed my hair yesterday but what this does like this is a shampoo and conditioner yeah but what I do is I just do that and it goes into a lather like you do like like that or something and this is not batteries this is just something you can use this I have I showed a video on that but you just do that until the suds are kind of like not suds and then brush your hair and and it will help with the knots and tangles and stuff like that. And this really helps. My scalp feels so clean after using head and shoulders. Yes. So, yes. I'm so glad that I have this because it really helps. And my hair looks, and it says proven healthy hair and healthy scalp. Scalp and hair are very important to claim. Do not just think you just do it to your scalp because your hair... It could get dirty too. Try to clean all of it. And this is really good for me because I use a lot of it. And it's 31.4 fluid ounces, which is 930 milliliters. And this, like, you see, I don't have a lot of hair. I don't need to use as much. But even if you have a lot, you don't need too much on it. And it really cleanses and cleans your hair. And it also moisturizes it. And by the way, what I use after this. Yes, I'll tell you that. This. I, uh, this, I said I'd brush my hair in the shower, and then when I come out, I got this on Amazon. You could use, like, oils and essential oils and stuff. See? This. What I do is, I use that, and I'd like to say that this is the Wild Growth Light Oil Moisturizer. I have one of the video up. And basically what I do, I open this, and then I use this, and then I squeeze it, and then I put it in my hand like this, like that, and I drop it in there, and then I put it in my hair, yeah, 
I'll probably make a video on that later of me moisturizing my hair. And I do it in this, like, and I also use this. What this mm -hmm. is, it's like a hair moisturizer. It's black owned. I have that on my channel as well. See how thick it is? It has shea butter in it. I'll show you me one day. And the last thing that I put in my hair, this is a lifesaver, this. This is a leave-in conditioning cream. It's a, um, an extra rich hair softener and moisturizer. And I've done videos on this, but I will probably make a wash and go, like me moisturizing my hair one day. And I usually like, I always use a spray bottle with just water. Just water in it, that's all you need. The water to spray on your hair. And this, just get any spray bottle. Yep, yep, this here is good. Um, and I use mm -hmm. other tools as well, but the ones that I use, like I use that, and then what I do, um, I broke comb my hair with this fine tooth comb with the rat tail, because, um, after, but what I do, I use this first, it's a wet brush, and it takes out, like, when it's wet, and I come out, I brush this, brush it with this, and it takes the tangles and knots out, and if that's not enough, I get this bamboo brush. It's a detangling brush, and I use this too. And then, after all that brushing, I use this, and it will comb every single strand of hair you have. And um, sometimes some of these products you'll think is dangerous on your hair, and it's like, oh crap, I put too much of product in. Just spray your hair and comb it, and just be like, just it and. Do, do what you got to do to get it to look better again. And I use this to comb. After I use that, or my last product, I comb it out to make sure it's combed out completely. And with no tangles and knots. By the way, that's what I use. And it works for my hair. And what I'm trying to say is how to go natural. Find products that work with your hair. And they really, really work. But... You gotta figure out what's good for washing your hair. And by the way, I think head and shoulders is perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. It's perfect to use. I mean, I know they're saying stuff about sulfate and stuff like that, but maybe that's not the issue and stuff because we've been using, hey, anyone who's used head and shoulders as a kid, they know it works for their hair. But the one bad thing that they said in these videos is, is saying like silicone yeah but when we were little our hair was healthy and stuff when it was natural or um because we used something that actually worked like that actually cleans your scalp and I don't think the things that are making your hair way down it's all these products you'd be putting on your hair that could be doing stuff to your hair and the way you're eating, maybe medical conditions. But head and shoulders, I made a video of me reacting to how it works. Um, to how it works. And it really does take out the things. That video you see uh, before, that why I cut my sh nails short, uh, the science behind head and shoulders and how it works and it tells you everything in that reaction So go check that video or I'll put it down in the description. I'll put it down in the description of the um, of The, uh, the uh, Science behind head and shoulders. I'll put that in the description box and this is a lifesaver, but getting in all into it um, you have to pick a shampoo and conditioner that works for you and not just saying it will all it does most of those natural hair things it just makes your hair look softer but when it's dry for me it looked harder it didn't look as healthy that much but now my hair is softer than before using these products that work for me and may work for you later in the future i may make a video of how i moisturize my hair and i kind of do it once in my day once or twice, whatever. I try not to manipulate it too much because you want your hair to grow and not break off, so to speak, for natural hair. But that is one of the things that you really need to focus on because uh, if you big chop, you know what? I think that the best thing is a kind of big chop to have a new fresh start and have it growing. And basically what you do, you pick a shampoo and conditioner that works for you 
and I think head and shoulders is that one thing. Um, it really does what it says. And it's been here longer than <laughs> me. And it's pretty good product. But getting into the video, uh, you need to find products like shampoo and conditioner, not just because it has no sulfates and parabens and all that. All that just sounds good, but that's to really get you to buy that instead of getting other things that really do the job still. And a mosquito. Sorry, y'all. Um, but yeah, natural hair, it's all about patience and getting to know your hair. It's not about making it to this length and this length. It's all about healthy hair and not doing all that unnecessary stuff, putting all these products on your hair. You don't need all that. And I don't use a lot. And the stuff that I use, they are so potent by that what I mean is you get a finger full and you do it little at a time and then not little at a time but you put a good amount and it's thick and you put it on your hair and you comb it and brush it all the way through to make sure there are no knots and tangles which is good for you to know that um for your natural hair what you should do is obviously you know find things that work for you it's not all about the slip and stuff. It's like you could also brush your hair under the water, brush your hair before the water. The brush is already wet when I put it on my hair and it doesn't hurt. And then when you come out, you use a wet brush. It doesn't hurt as much. It depends on your hair. My hair is kind of thick and shorter. I'll have to see when it gets longer, you guys, but how the brushing will be. But this, this, um, it's. You can use this well after your TWA. I have one. I brushed my hair uh, yesterday. I mean, I washed it yesterday, and it was perfect. And this cuts your wash day in half. And especially this, like shampoo and conditioners, that is a d dangerous shampoo. You can't beat it, and it cleans your scalp like crazy. Um, what I'm really trying to say for your natural hair journey, uh, I hate when people say don't be product junkies, because you're going to be that at first if you think. But what I would say is try to find something that really works for you. And if it works for you, it may not work for another. But if it's like something like dantro shampoo, like head and shoulders and stuff like that, that will work for absolutely anyone, I tell you. Because everyone gets like product buildup and, and dandruff and stuff like that. And uh, it's very interesting to me. Mm -hmm. It's really interesting. So... Uh, for your natural hair journey, you will have to go through trials and errors every time trying to figure out what, what product works for you. But first, you got to figure out, like, like what shampoo and conditioner. And if it's a shampoo and di conditioner together, that's good. And if um, natural hair, it doesn't matter about the label. I want to get into the label thing now. Now, um, the, um, the shampoo, like... <laughs> Um, the labels on it, it says naturals, natural hair, blah, 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 blah. That and making it different colors and saying natural hair is just to get you to buy it. Because if you have natural hair, um, you'll think, oh, I have to get something that says natural hair because it's not for the other thing that doesn't say natural hair on it. It's not for natural hair. Now, when you had natural hair as a child, you would actually use stuff that your parents were using. I use head and shoulders natural clean, classic clean, I mean, but now I use just, it doesn't matter, I just get head and shoulders, but I get the head and shoulders shampoo and conditioner, that's what works for me no matter what kind it is, and you notice that your hair and your scalp were clean, right, but you didn't use all these other products and stuff, that um, like the oils and stuff, because your parents at that time probably didn't do all that, and if you did have that experience, like how I do my hair now, then that's good. But the, the label is just saying natural hair, uh, black hair, anything that labels natural hair and curly hair and wavy hair, all that, all hair textures that kind of have a little wave and curl to it. You don't need to get those products that label that because it's stuff that you put on your hair. But I mean, if it's like natural hair products, then th that's different. I mean, what other works for you that makes your hair clean and soft and healthy? That's what I would say to you now. 
that is something you need to focus on. And the ingredients, you don't need to focus on all that. And I'm saying this because I've used things of all um, labels on it. And it's just the products, like you could just use like oils, moisturizers, hair moisturizers and stuff. And, and a leave-in conditioning cream, uh, like a hair softener or something. Those are basic things that you could use, and that's all you could use. But if you're always going by everything, like, you can't always get things that don't have paraben, petroleum, sulfate. I mean, I used to, in my other videos, I did say how I do only sulfate-free and all that, but I changed now. I changed my mind because I use things that work for me and head and shoulders. I see it works for everyone, and a lot of people are saying how it makes their hair very clean. Um, yes, and I just wanted to say that. My natural hair, like, um, I'm telling you how to be natural, how to start it. And that's what I'm saying in this video. Uh, if you want to do the big shop, okay. What I did, I transitioned for seven months, and then I did the big chop. Now, if you don't do the big chop, it will give you, like, you can mess up your hair and all that. You need to figure out what shampoo and conditioner, whether you want it to be shampoo and conditioner or shampoo and conditioner in one bottle and then get, um, just focus on, um, what are the things that, are basic things that it does for your hair, like wash it and cleanse your scalp and your hair and clean it and make you feel great afterwards, like a mermaid just. A mermaid just doing your hair and my hair is very soft I have never felt in all 25 years of my life I'm 25 that <laughs> my hair has never felt so healthy and soft and my mom said that when she did my hair and stuff it was really hard and my hair is like an unruly child that you give it a spanking so many times you discipline it it ain't listening to you and then you give it what it needs and what it has been wanting all the time love and clean cleanse it of all the things bad in it and then it gets cleaned and it's just your moment you just feel so good and i know like you have to also focus on the tools you use going natural like of course, obviously a shampoo brush i had i made a video of how that sh that shampoo massaging brush i mean i do my hair under the water and i think that even putting, I think it was rusted in there, the water went down there. So I would say get the one that, um, get the one that doesn't need any batteries and like this, that you can just do it under the water, <laughs> water, water and brush your hair. This is a staple tool. This you use, you can actually brush your hair with it too. And it's really amazing. And you could do this after you who are, um, Doing, you can do oil, hot oil treatments like you would do with any shampoo brush. So you can get those and I have a video on different shampoo brushes. So you can go check it out. The only thing I'm putting in the description box is, uh, is uh, the um, science of the reaction of the head and shoulders. So, and also the tools, this detangling brush. Like I use a wet brush. This is so pretty. It reminds me. This is a wet brush and you use it after you get out of the shower or when you uh, spray your hair and it has to be wet, wet brush and it takes a, out the um, knots and tangles. And this is a detangler brush, a bamboo one. Yeah. And this rat tail fine tooth comb that helps after you brush and detangle your hair, you just kind of go around your hair and um, just comb it out with this and it will find every strand and sometimes like yeah I use those three tools now um, you use those tools tools are important and especially this would be essential to your natural hair journey what this is it's basically something you use for oils and stuff and you can put stuff in here if you want but I don't but I showed you I'll show you later of how I do it but you can put stuff in here and then and then you can just do this in your hand and then for the oils and stuff and put it on your edges. I don't do my edges and all that. My hair doesn't stay down. You can't really tell. So yeah, the tools you have are very essential to your natural hair journey. 
moving forward. And by the way, I have cut and shaped my head so many, many times. And now I have everything that works for me. I can grow my hair out. And by the way, shout out and thank you to one of the commenters who said, like, I did do, should I grow my hair? Do I grow my hair? And she said, yeah, grow it out. Um, he or she said that, um, don't wash it too much because it can damage it. And by the way, from that comment, um, yeah, like, if you wash your hair too much, um, don't wash your hair every week, probably every two weeks to a month, because if you do all that, it's going to defeat the purpose of growing your hair. And if you manipulate it too much and you're washing and manipulating it too much, it can make your hair kind of like, well, maybe like, um, break off a little more, it won't grow as good, and you keep on washing it and not letting it do its thing, and not washing it as much, like two to three weeks to a month, it's a good amount of time, and you can moisturize your hair within that time, but don't do it too much because your body can replenish itself, and your hair can grow and grow, but make sure to protect your, last thing, make sure to protect your hair as much as you can like what i do i have this large satin silk um scarf and i put it on my pillow and i sleep on that every night and sometimes i may put some on my head but i just do that Be i just get the large satin silk uh scarf and put it on my pillow and then you know yeah but this can also work for kids as well kids and babies like don't wash their hair too much I also want to tell you, like, your kids, once their hair grows, and it's like a little afro, curly, whatever, like, uh, afro hair, it doesn't matter what type it is, like, um, I think you should just wash their hair with, um, like, wash their hair with shampoo and conditioner, or the shampoo and conditioner, or something for babies, something for babies, like, you can get baby shampoos and if they're natural hair, you can also start to add oils to it, like, and kind of try to wash their hair, not as much, when you give them baths or showers. I'm not a mother or something, but I'm just saying what I think could work for babies, but for kids, for sure, I know how kids, like, um, once they're a little older and stuff, you can, uh, wash their hair a little bit with shampoo and conditioner combined, and with the hair softener and the oil stuff, like in my my order that I told you guys, and that can help kids, because I did my hair, um, and that really helps. Like, you can look up stuff for babies and kids and natural hair and see how you wash it, but don't do, do too much, because it could kind of, you know, their hair's a different type of hair, so. Yeah, I just wanted to tell you about how to become natural, and I'll talk more about this later, and how to become natural. You could do big chop, but transitioning and then big chop is a little better, so you can let your hair just grow a little bit, and just wash it a little bit, like wash it with shampoo and conditioner, shampoo and conditioner together, and transitioning, you don't have to do too much, and then once it gets to that time to cut it, cut it, big chop, and then start, I think like a big chop like this would help you understand how your hair is and how it is and what I explained in this video could help you figure out what to do. So I'll probably get more on this topic later. Happy 2020. God bless all of you. Um, hope you're having a good year and thanks for watching. Thank you so much and good luck on your natural hair journey. Good luck. Thank you for watching. Like if you liked it, thumbs it up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be notified by all the new videos I upload. Okay? Bye! Every single day.